Hello friends, I am Ashish Tabari, founder and CEO of Axemize. To our new listeners, welcome to our old ones, welcome back. There was a little break we took uh, last week and I hope you were not missing us too much. Uh, but we're back now. So this week I'm going to talk about how at Axemize we are making formal normal. So let me start by saying that Axemize is delivering a comprehensive formal verification methodology training from 27th to 31st of July, later this month. If you haven't signed up, please go to mentor.com slash training and sign up for that. Um, or contact us at info at axiomize.com. I will be delivering the training in comprehensive methodologies for formal verification. You can become an expert at formal verification methodology in no time and test your designs without doubt. In case you're not ready for training, but if you are building microprocessors, we can help you with automated formal verification using our custom verification solutions. So last year, Axemize designed industry's first vendor-neutral universal formal verification proof kit for testing instruction set architecture compliance of RISC-5 processors against the published RISC-5 ISO standard. In the upcoming design automation conference next week, I will be talking about this methodology and how it was used to find bugs in pre-verified processor implementations ranging from architectural to microarchitectural. We found power issues, deadlocks, functional issues, functional safety, and security trojans. Some of these processors were previously verified with dynamic simulation, and one was in fact verified by formal uh, by another team of experts. When we found bugs, we were able to provide a detailed analysis of how they were reproducible and how you could mask the effect of bugs. I recall the evening of 13th of June last year when I had checked out IBEX, a clone of Zero Risk key at the time, and had pressed proof and went on to make myself a cup of coffee. Now, being an espresso fan, as you know, it usually takes less than a minute to make a cup of coffee. So I was back at my desk looking at bugs already found by our proof properties. This was really exhilarating to see that actually the core that I had just checked out a few minutes ago was already starting to show symptoms of bugs by just hitting the proof command in our proof kit. In this case, I was able to show that though IBEX had bugs due to it being under development and some of the new interfaces were being defined, you could still get IBEX to work correctly by simply disabling some of the buggy interfaces. We could get half of the ISA compliance checks to prove in less than 30 minutes, exhaustively, simply by orchestrating our proof kit. So why does XMI's formal verification methodology finds these bugs? So the reason formal verification finds more bugs is than dynamic simulation in general is because of its ability to drive in exhaustive stimulus and perform exhaustive checking on all reachable combinations and all reachable states in the design. Though the checkers are not generally free and there is certainly a human effort required to write the properties, the stimulus is as free as the air we breathe. The only thing is that with formal, we need to block the bad stimulus or else we end up debugging spurious failures. In addition to the goodness of what formal verification brings at Axiomize, we create abstraction models, allowing us to accelerate the analysis and cope with proof complexity issues that are the bane of formal. As some of you know, uh, if you've been using formal verification, that you have this problem of proof convergence. Our methodology allows you to obtain a very high convergence rate. In practice, our methodology can obtain close to 99% convergence on instruction set architecture compliance checks with any formal tool of your choice, though the run times, of course, vary depending on which tool is used. But hey, all is not great with formal either. 
So one of the problems with formal verification, despite it being exhaustive, and despite us bringing our abstraction skills and all of the problem reduction uh, methodology-oriented things, it is this lack of universal interoperable coverage model that can be merged between simulation and formal, and that can be used across different formal tools. There isn't one. So each formal verification tool vendor has its own functional coverage model that does not necessarily talk to the other one. Now this causes a real pain for the end user of formal who doesn't know what has been verified and what hasn't. Now we of course tell them trust us, everything has been verified and formal checks all combinations, which is true, but sadly is not enough to instill confidence in the minds of engineers with background in simulation who may be even open to using formal, but may not actually get the evidence that they need to see. How does one explain to a CPU architect who's implementing different um, choices for the same instruction, let's say, and if he happens to get something to work approved correctly, he would like to know why it is approved, might want to see some more evidence, but we cannot explain why. This week, we launched Formalizer, our new next generation formal verification app for testing RISC V ISA compliance of implementations against the published ISA. Formalizer, once configured for a given implementation using a single setup file, will provide proofs of correctness for all ISA instructions formally through proofs without writing a single test case, without writing an input sequence, or without writing any verification code at all. The user simply selects a formal verification tool of its choice and hits the Proof button. We have addressed all of the challenges that I was describing earlier with coverage for formal verification in Formalizer. Now a user can query Formalizer to find out which scenarios of interest are definitely working in the implementation and which are not which are covered, and which are provably unreachable. A complete report is generated. Waveforms can provide visual feedback on why certain scenarios are possible. If some scenarios are not possible, Formal will prove that they are unreachable. All of this, again, available without having to write a single line of verification code, or cover groups, or input stimulus, or checkers. Now, some of you may know that Axiomize is working in collaboration with the Open Hardware Group. So in-house, what we're doing is we're cloning the latest GitHub repository of CV32E40P, and we're just telling our app where this core is, and we're hitting proof and cover to obtain an end-to-end sign-off capable result on ISA compliance. We do not need a simulation expert or even a formal expert to use our app. Even a 10-year-old can press the buttons, generate the results, and send the reports back to the designer for investigation, although you, mo- you should most certainly not employ a 10-year-old. An architect can use our app interactively by making new changes to the RTL file and hitting proof and cover to see what is going on with his changes and whether those changes are working correctly always. The architect, and for that matter, the designer can focus on architecture and design and leave the heavy, often grunt work of verification onto our app. The verification engineer should of course use our app for continuous verification to extract coverage data that can be used for end-to-end sign-off. Managers can simply glance on the dashboard and ascertain the status of ISA testing. So everyone reaps the benefits of RISC V ISA compliance on their implementations. If you don't trust it, you can view the reports and see the waves to gain more confidence. So we build an app which now generates all of the necessary verification collateral in terms of obtaining exhaustive proofs, finding bugs, and building an interoperable coverage model that operates between different simulators and between different formal tools. So you now have the ability to do a test-free, end-to-end, exhaustive, formal correctness 
analysis without having to write a single line of verification code. So if you want to know more about it, um, contact us at info at axiomize.com. Go to our website and we have a brand new page on RISC-V Formal App. Um, we are very happy uh, to show you a demo um, or give you a data sheet. Um, tell us how we can help you become a formal expert. We are here to make formal normal. And we're very much looking forward for you to join us at DAC next week. Having said that, I wish you well. Stay healthy, stay connected, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tell us what else would you like to hear.